I had finally worked my way back around to the keyboard mechanism. I had made a keyboard before, but it sucked. I had uh, gone and re-engineered everything and I'd taken I'd a whole bunch of toy keyboards apart and taken careful measurements of how long the throw was on the keys. I used a different set of rubber bumpers for the, uh, for the contacts. I basically redid the whole thing almost from scratch and um, I had new print, 3D printed keyboards. Today I finally finished soldering together a circuit board and putting the rubber bumpers on, laser cutting a new uh, panel to hold those, and it works. Now my models are fully parametric, which means that if I change a number, I can change the width of the box, I can change the width of the keyboard, I can change the relation of the black keys to the white keys, I can change any parameter of my thing just by entering a new number in, and it should rescale the match. There are a couple parts of it that don't work quite right yet, but most of it works pretty well. So if I'm gonna make the keyboard, and then I'm going to make a, uh, a new box based on the new design I've done. I still have to design the pitch wheel assembly, which is you know, the modulation wheel assembly, which includes the pitch wheel. And that's got four potentiometers in it, two of which are for knobs that go vertically, and then there's two uh, small potentiometers in it. And one of those is spring-loaded, so there's gonna be a mechanism for that. Pod in the back, that has the main circuit board in it, which has everything. I've done test boards for some of that, but I have to make the board which is actually gonna fit in there. And what's really important to me right now is to do a box on the shop bot, where I can actually have it do all the round fillets and stuff like that that make the, the box nice and shapely. And the other thing is, of course, with all these plastic models like the keyboard and the pitch wheel assembly and all the knobs and stuff like that, those are going to be injection molded, at least that's currently the plan. And so um, molds have to be generated. So then the main thing is we have to make injection molds. Now, of course, I've never done that, and I don't know all the ins and outs of that. I'm sure that's a huge field of study, um, but we're gonna try.